Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is November 8th, 2017, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, just two major numbers coming out. We have weekly inventories for oil, crude oil, that is. And we'll take a look at that in a moment at 6.30 this afternoon. And then late this evening, New Zealand dollar, for those that are trading the New Zealand dollar, Royal Bank of New Zealand has a rate statement today. Okay, and that's at 11 o'clock. So let's see what's been happening in the markets. So we're taking a look here at the Euro USD, and as you can see, we had a nose dive yesterday. Okay, a beautiful retracement uh, from this 1643-ish level, and we just continued our 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 sell-off. Okay, it looked really dead yesterday. Uh, we mentioned that in the daily review. We said it could be a good short. And sure enough, it retraced about 50 pips. Um, we bounced after that. Over the past 12 hours, we've been slowly turning up. And as you can see, we're settling here at 15.87. So all in all, you know, the Euro USD is flatlining, if you will. It's getting a little bit weaker, slowly but surely. Okay, so if you do get these, you know, at the top of these bounces, a little bit of a short off, you know, just to get like 20, 20 to 30 pips, it's a good trade to actually enter. Now, looking at the GBP USD, not selling off as strongly, but still selling off a little bit. As you can see, we're trading at 131.54, down about 25 pips from yesterday. So not a major retracement okay but it's slowly but surely making itself a new trading range as you can see here okay so at the top of the level obviously 133 we spoke about this last week and then we had the retracement on friday a little bit of a bounce since then and we're making like a double top right here so let's see if it does follow through this morning with a little bit of a sell-off to see that this was a dead cat bounce altogether looking at the usd czar not much happening uh, just trading at 1419 above the 14 level, uh, but you know again it's also consolidating at these levels. So you have to see some sort of breakout to make it worth the while. Looking at gold also retracing a little bit yesterday, 1281 to 1277. Again we're in a tight range, okay, but we are in a range, and you could definitely you know take a few scalping trades, a dollar here, a dollar there, you know to to book some money. Looking at oil, now we spoke about this earlier this week on Monday. We broke above this 55 level and settled above it, so this looked like a breakout. I'd like to see some continuation here, okay? Maybe a little bit of a retracement here is actually a good place to actually pick it up. Um, you know, the higher probability trade would have been, you know, further along the way as it broke through its resistance level, uh, but, you know, it looks like it's still pretty strong and wants to continue this uh, this trend as we've gone from 50 to about $56 in about a span of a month. Okay, so that's relatively a decent move for the price of oil. Okay, especially since we've seen it, you know, go down from $110 historically down to $38. So, you know, altogether, some strengthening. This is very uh, common for oil to actually start strengthening around this time of the year. Uh, much in demand, the colder winters in the northern hemisphere requires much more heating oil, et cetera, et cetera. So this is all taken into consideration, and let's see, you know, if it does continue with a uh, with a rally. Looking at the Dow Jones, not much of a big day yesterday. Really flatlined, uh, selling off a few, you know, a few a few points here, but nothing really to write home about. Okay, we're still, you know, pretty strong here. We're still selling up in our highs, uh, only 100 points off of our all-time highs since we made, you know, this past week. So, you know, we've consecutive, consecutively, excuse me, made all-time highs, monthly highs for the past year. So, you know, altogether to say that this is a correctional move, I'm not sure yet, okay? Because looking at the DAX, we're looking at the DAX right now, 13,362, a retracement of about 200 points, okay? So that's pretty decent, all right? That's a pretty decent retracement, as you can see here. That's a massive retracement okay we filled the gap and couldn't rally right back and then we are continuing this this little trade-off could be a decent place right here at 1330 to actually pick it up uh, for a correctional move as it's trading in its new range but as you can see there are more people willing to take money off the table as we're making these all-time highs okay so looking at that looking at the JSC as well we had a you know a, a gap up uh, yesterday and then a sell-off so we filled the gap okay um, might be that we'll continue selling off here a little bit into the 53 
hundred ish level, nine seventy seven inch level, uh, and then rallying back. So just take a look at this before. Usually in these type of markets when we're trending upwards, it's not going to just nosedive. Okay, usually I don't want to say you know I don't want to say that that's you know you can bet your bottom dollar on it, but usually we don't just nosedive. Okay, there's usually a correctional move. Okay, a sell off, and then you know and a a a an attempt to rally again and we don't make a higher high we usually make a double top and then we have a sell off okay and then that's your that's your note that's your key uh to letting you know that it's you know the sell off is beginning so that's usually the case you know sometimes we do have nose dives absolutely true but normally when people are funneling a good amount of money and these you know mutual funds and all these type of you know major uh, securities, major uh, institutions that are 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 investing in these type of markets, it's usually money that is gradually being put in. So it's a little bit difficult to say that they'll just take it out altogether at one time. So keep that in in mind as the trading continues. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.